Yes. Okay. And that is the most controversial weapon in the country right now. It's controversial because I've seen the damage it's done. I've, I've seen x-rays of bones shattered like fiberglass done with these. Are we shooting these actual guns? Yep, hit that. There you go. Oh my okay. god. I, I scrolled through your comment section on a few of your videos and I... Can I just insult your fans real quick? I just hate your fans. This is not... This shouldn't be here. But it is! <laughs> but it is! Cause so it's how my Ryan! <laughs> I mean, for now. For now? <laughs> Come and take it! I am so well armed! <laughs> Can I complain about white people for a second? I just hate... I hate... White people. It's a way that a lot of men have built their masculinity. So... Uh... I guess, let me ask, what's your name? Hey, I'm, I'm Dan. My name is Tessa. I hate everything about how I just did that. And, oh, no. uh, you like theater? Um, well, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of going into musical theater, which is... And you don't mm. like guns. I'm not a big fan, no. All right. My name is Bo. I'm a friend of John's. And, uh, I hate guns. And you're also... You're bisexual. Sure. So you're attracted to men. Not you. But men. Yeah. And you're also a Boy Scout. Are you an Eagle Scout? Uh, I was an Eagle Scout back when we were the Boy Scouts of America before we became Scouting BSA. So you've shot guns before? I have. Have uh, you shot shot guns before? I have shot shotguns before, uh, 20 gauges and 12 gauges alike. Um, have you shot any handguns or rifles or? I can't say that I ever shot a handgun, but I have shot rifles. I, I was in Boy Scouts. I'm a Dweeb, and uh, you know there were a few shooting sports campouts, and then we shot like twelve gauge shotguns. Most it was mostly shotguns. I've actually never shot a handgun before. Uh, so shot, have you shot any um, any like you would call them assault rifles? Yeah. Uh, so I went to military school, and then you know they, that's part of the stuff that you do there is you know you're shooting all them uh, assault rifle fifteens. Um, does a BB gun count? <laughs> it does not. <laughs> then I guess not. So do you own any guns? Um, I personally do not own any guns because I have not had a reason yet to own one. Okay. So what's your opinion on gun culture in America? Gun culture, specifically, I kind of hate. Um, I think that it is very different than gun culture in any other country, um, and not in a good way. I think that it's, um, it's a way that a lot of men have built their masculinity to themselves. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like that was an attack on me personally. It might have been. All right. Because I view them the same way that if like anyone just has one thing for their personality, you know, it's just like people, like teenage girls who just like are all about horoscopes and like only obsess over that. It's like get a personality, you know what I mean? And it, it, it's the same way with boomers, except that they're obsessed with guns instead of, you know, standing someone on Twitter or, you know, other sh that one, I'm going to have trouble answering because uh, everywhere is different. What's your interpretation of this text? I'm sure you're familiar with it. I'm sure you despise it. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Bo. I do. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. I, um, I, I saw that one video you, taught, you did about um, the recent one about dis disproving all libtard uh, gun. <laughs> um, and it was pretty good. I mean, I don't, I don't really care about the constitutional argument, you know, as far as I'm concerned, owning a gun is a right in America. Um, and you know, I, I, whether or not that should change, like whether we should edit the second amendment, that's a different story entirely. Basically, I interpret that as, um, you can't take away our right to protect ourselves, um, because are the first militias in this country formed to kick out the tyrannical power. Okay, so, you know, for the people that don't know what words are, that just means everybody has a right to bear arms, which, you know, is the Constitution. Um, and I think that that should be upheld um, because founding fathers were kind of smart, so maybe we should listen to what they had to say. Um, but I still think that it should be regulated um, a bit more than it is right now uh, to keep people safe. Um, because whatever we've been doing has not been working. Uh, so what's your opinion on gun ownership in America as far as the proportion of individuals that are actively owning guns or the, I guess, gun to person ratio in this country being greater than one because we have more guns than people? Well, um, that proportion is kind of skewed in a way. Uh, you look at a place like Montana 
and that's how many guns per household, like 20? Uh, mm -hmm. am, I, am I overestimating, or is that correct? That's probably correct, yeah. Okay, and in New York, it takes how long to get a gun? Uh, months. So therefore, a lot of people um, aren't legally looking into getting a gun because mm -hmm. of just how long it takes. Um, there are a lot more guns in America than there are people, and um, that personally doesn't seem right, especially since most people um, don't own guns, uh, that some people just have hordes of them, like some people that I know. Ouch. And <laughs> um, I just, I don't think that we need it. And even if you want it, like that's just, so what? Like you're putting people in danger. And um, even if you're not gonna personally do anything, the fact that these kinds of guns are on the streets, that these kinds of guns are in the hands of people that might do harm, um, we shouldn't let that be a thing. Are there any policies right now that you see being proposed by people pertaining to gun control that you would, uh, I guess, call yourself a supporter of? Uh, I'm support. I'm in support for more regulation in areas in high metropolitan areas. Okay. What kind of regulation? Uh, so definitely a background check, uh, certification of safety training. Well, I do think that a lot of gun control legislation and left-wing politicians who are advocating for gun control. Um, I don't think that gun control itself necessarily is going to be that effective. I do at least appreciate left-wing politicians advocating for gun control because at least they're trying to do something to help the mass shooting epidemic that we have in America versus right-wing politicians. They might say things like video games or uh, even Trump has said mental health, but he's not really done anything to help. I mean, even when he blames video games, he's not even doing anything to stop video games if they are the cause or any only defunded um, things like Medicaid, so it's making it harder for people to get access to mental health care. Are there any guns that you think that people shouldn't be able to own? Uh, let's start with uh, LMGs. <laughs> I, think, I think that might be a little unnecessary. Um, I don't know, Dan. So, shall not be infringed seems clear to me. <laughs> Malicious, John. Uh, well, oh, we can have that discussion. <laughs> so I'm going to put some guns in front of you and you just tell okay. me what you think. Those uh, semi-automatic handguns. You can pick it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, they're not, are they loaded right now? Or no, or, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're pretty fine. You know, stuff like this is... Smith & Wesson. Yeah. Uh, solid, solid little piece there. Yeah. Very easily concealable. Uh, I'm guessing this is high power. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think handguns, handguns are a go. Handguns are a go from Dan. Handguns are a go from Dan. Okay. Uh, semi-automatic handguns. Yeah, absolutely. Automatics. Not too sure about that. All right, do you want me to like... You may! All you right. May. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Thanks, words of wisdom. I mean... That's a semi-automatic handgun. All right. Block 23. I don't know what I would ever do with this. You would defend yourself. Well, that's like smaller. Is it less heavy? It is indeed less heavy. It's also a different caliber. That's the one in your right hand, that's a 9mm, and the one in your left is 40 caliber. Explain what that means. <laughs> So the one in your right hand goes yes. boom, and then the one in your left hand goes boom, but more. Okay, so maybe this one, I guess these are okay. As long as it's used as like protection more than anything else. I do want to note that the majority of mass shootings in this country are committed with handguns. Really? Yes. Well, that's not too sick. Uh, but, I, you know, I think that this is like the, you know, perfect kind of thing that people might own for self-defense or whatever. Your thoughts? I'm I'm not a big fan of this one. I'm not gonna lie to you, John. Um, this is also unnecessary. And but it's cool. I mean, I guess, but I f a lot more bad things happen because you have a gun than when you don't have a gun. This looks like an MP40. It, it's a Tech Nine. Okay, Tech Nine. I think I saw this in Sons of Anarchy. How many? How much ammo can this have in the? Uh, Thirty-three. Thirty-three. I mean. A little bit of context, you might get three out before it jams, just because it's very, I mean, it's all stamped, but... Uh, yeah. You mean, is this specific gun in general? Like, yeah, they're terrible. Lot? They're terrible. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean... No one's gonna use this for... I don't picture anyone using this for self-defense, at least, in my opinion. Um... Nah, I don't think so. Give it a... give it a... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see, look at it. Look at that, look at that smile. See, yeah, no, see That's this- That's masculine energy. Uh, shut the f*** up, I'm not masculine. I have no masculine energy. See, this is badass. If you own this, you're a f***ing <laughs> <laughs> it's a, He can say it because he likes boys. Bo, riddle me this. 
the vast majority of murders in this country are committed by men. How can you then be attracted <laughs> to men? <laughs> you say, oh, it's the guns that kill people. It's the men, yet you want to sleep with them. <laughs> I'm perplexed. I fucking hate men. I hate white people. Can I complain about, like, can I complain about white people for a second? I just hate, I hate white people. So, so this is definitely, um, this is definitely easier to kill someone with. You could say that. Okay. Um, it is, it is a 12 gauge. Oh, that's a heavy boy. Um, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool, but I just, It's just no. a shotgun. Okay, <clears throat> so? Just a harmless shotgun. <laughs> just a harmless thing you can use yeah. to kill people. Well, all of them, yeah. <laughs> well, I know, but- You could use anything, I could use a brick to kill somebody. Yes, okay. and that is the most controversial weapon in the country right now. It's controversial because I've seen the damage it's done. I've, I've seen x-rays of bones shattered like fiberglass though with these as opposed to these it's just simple exit wounds simple puncture whatever uh compared to this which uh it, it looks like it looks um devastating uh when you see the aftermath mm -hmm. um now obviously if i was on the other end of this i'd be shit myself mm -hmm. because uh this weapon terrifies me if you own this you're a fucking communist fortunately i'm a fucking communist so i love this thing I probably look like really nerdy, like pointing that at the camera too. Now how how do you feel about the TAC AK? TAC AK. So what's uh? You got the bipod. Yeah. Slash foregrip. You got a little optic on there. Yeah. I can't remember from right eye or left eye. Uh, but yeah, I mean this is also something. Um, I mean a lot of people are gonna you say that this looks scary. Oh, that's so heavy. Why would anybody want to carry this? This is not. This is not good. <laughs> ah. It's really heavy, and that's actual blood, isn't it? <laughs> that is yeah, the blood Romanians, of a person. Some Romanian got stabbed with it. Do you know this Romanian? I don't, no. I, I feel like you should do some research and figure out what the name is of the Romanian. Yeah, you know, 23 Mia. Yeah, we'll get yeah. 23 Mia with a cotton swab. And we'll exactly. Swab and we'll Thank you. Let Wait, me know the results. So how do you feel about people owning that? Um, if they're in the military and are actually fighting to, um, keep national security, then if you like this one, sure, go ahead. But to have this in an empty house, I don't think that that's such a, such a great choice. It was defined as an assault weapon because of features like the pistol grip, okay. the collapsing or telescoping stock, it had to have two or more, and so that has two, so that technically is an assault weapon yeah. by the criteria of the Democrats. Yeah, no, I mean, um, things like this, I, I do think, you know, uh, gun owners cringe when people say assault style weapons, but it's like, you know what we're talking about, you know, most people don't know that much about guns, which I do think that, that is kind of fair, but at the same time, um, you know, assault style weapon is something that just kind of looks like this, uh, you know, a lot of people, like myself, don't know that much about guns, I like to think that I know a little bit more than my parents or whatever. I think you lit me up with an airsoft version of this. No, that was uh, that was Christian. We were playing Texans versus Mexicans. Oh no, he lit you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was running into uh, into the base, and he just da, 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 and then like lit up my back. Yeah. And then I played doctor with your mom. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> he uh, he set the picture as his phone background of my like scarred and gored back. Um, and it's like, why do you you don't why do you want four? It's not even people are like, why do you need guns? Even you. I remember I asked you, uh, so why do you need this gun? You were like, my gun deeds capped out two guns ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest response I've ever heard. But, and obviously it's not about need, it's about want. But it's like, why do you want this? You're wasting so much money. Just buy Call of Duty and get indoctrinated to be a serial killer by playing violent video games or something, like the rest of us. Yeah, I mean, this just looks kind of scary. This looks like it should just be in the hands of the military. Like, I, I, if I saw somebody walking down the street with this on their arm, like, I would run. I just, this is not, this what's, is a scary thing. What's scary about it? Well... Is it because it's black? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it's like, it's big, it's heavy, it's got all these little things that make precision, like, more precise. This, that was, yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. the function. Yeah, and it's just... Like, like I've said like three times by now, it's unnecessary. It's just the purpose of owning one of these is to hurt people. And I just, I don't like that. 
Well. Well. You're gonna go shoot that today. Are we shooting these actual guns? Yeah, what'd you think I said? I don't know. I was like, oh, maybe we're gonna like go shoot a little, like one of these little things, and then. No, no, we're, the AR. Yeah, easily, easily the AR. All right, you excited? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Let's go, team. Scary. It was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. So you shot some guns. We shot some guns. Uh, what was your overall impression? Uh, well, I did not expect to be shooting an AK-47 today. Yeah, Dan over here shot uh, an AK, an AR, and a Glock today. So, yeah. big day. Big day, indeed. Uh, my hair kept getting on the way for the AR, so that made it a little difficult. Did you, uh, did you have a good time shooting guns? Um, not so much. I think part of it was also that I'm kind of weak and I didn't know Whoa. the extent. Whoa, you are just as strong as any man. <laughs> oh yeah, uh-huh, because that's how biology works. Just uh -huh. identify as a man before you go shoot a gun, <laughs> stupid woman. <laughs> you know, that was, that was a lot of fun, definitely. Oh, I never, I never shot a Tech 9 before either. Although, to be honest, the Tech 9's kind of gay. <laughs> like, I'm not even... How is a weapon sexualized? <laughs> The Tech 9 just has some, like, it feels like it's the weapon that's bullied by all, all the other guns. Was it scary? It was a little, I was a little, I was a little freaked out. Because it made a big noise? It did make a big noise. I walked in, because I've never been to a shooting range or anything before. I was walking in through the hallway and I, like, heard the gunshots. I was like, oh, that's not too bad. And then the door opened. It was like, oh, it was a lot, it was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. But do, do you know why? Well, because it's like a little explosion when you Correct. try to shoot the gun. That, that is what's happening. Yeah. It explodes. It does explode. Has your perspective changed at all on guns or gun control or anything? Uh, no, f*** gun owners. Um, honestly, like that, that's, that's how I came in and that's how I'm going to come out, honestly. Um, I mean, the people at the, at, at the range were nice, but it's just like, if you own guns, you're just kind of a little cringe. Um, it's so expensive too. Like, who has money for this? You could just spend your money like investing in, in your, stocks. In, what about investing in your safety? John, you have like seven firearms. You have. I am you. seven times safer. <laughs> How'd you like shooting the the handgun? Um, it was it was the least scary of them all because it was kind of small and I didn't have to be like braced in order to actually shoot the gun. Yeah. Um. But, I don't know, as long as it's for protection, I feel like everybody has a right to protect themselves using firearms, so. But, um, today was my first time shooting an actual handgun, uh, or a, what do you call it, a civilian defense rifle. So, um, I had, I actually had a good time, uh, nailed up some targets. Uh, John blew the clips off of one of the targets and it was just hanging by a thread. Yeah, but I also was the most accurate at 20 feet with a handgun, so. Okay. All right. Well, it was uh, it was nice. Yeah, it was it was a nice experience that I I have I've never shot in an indoor range before, so. But for real, if you own guns, you know that's fine. Whatever. Uh, I just hate if you're a gunner. I hate the delusion that you're gonna stop the government from taking your guns. If Obama really wanted to take your guns, um, then he would just drone strike your drone strike your house into oblivion. You wouldn't be able to do jack. Um, you mean President Obama? President Obama. My he, president. He, he's still president? He's still president. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't think that maybe the gun is the problem. I think it's the number of bullets, that like number of rounds you can have, that could like significantly impact like... Because I can see why using these are fun, but if you have like 200 rounds, like that's not... That is meant to murder lots of people, so maybe we should... Focus a little more on that. What? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like having ammo stocked. <laughs> like, we didn't even have to stop or buy any or anything. We, we were just well, ready just to go. To have like 200.
Wonder be able to go right there. Like, that's... So convenient. You actually, a bit of a connoisseur, a connoisseur, if you will, uh, in your own, your own respect, with different weapons. And I've actually, I've got a surprise for you. Oh? You have uh, another gun for me? I'll be right back. Hold? No, even better. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's been like, what, four years? It, these are the ones? Yep. Dude, I thought they were blue. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> okay, so, um, we went on a trip to New York City. And after uh, dinner one of the nights where we were downtown, uh, John's dad was our chaperone, and he said, all right, you guys can go around for a little bit now. Don't do anything stupid. I proceeded to buy some nunchucks. Yeah, we were leaving a, like a restaurant out. in Chinatown. We had like maybe five minutes between people leaving the restaurant and people like getting on the bus. And so Dan runs into some like hole in the wall shop and buys a nunchucks and starts beating Carson with them. <laughs> and they just yeah. instantly confiscated and they I, didn't I see didn't. him until now. So that trip was... See, every single time I'd see my dad, I'd, like John's dad, I'd say, hey, do you still have my nunchucks? You know where they are? He'd say, oh, I totally threw them out or something like that. But yeah. this is a happy day indeed. Thank you, John. Yeah, so Dan shot the AR, Dan shot the AK. Dan shot the Glock, and Dan got his nunchucks. Got my nunchucks back. I mean, could you ask for anything else? I, I think... I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, Dan made, honestly. Just uh, keep, keep nunchuck oil, all right? True, right to uh, keep and bear nunchucks. Shall not be infringed. Shall not be infringed.